Welcome to another edition of Pastor Kumui's Illustrations. Amen. And a half has never yet been told. The agony he went through for me. The half has never yet been told. The grace that brought salvation. And the love that planted salvation. And the great power of God that rolled away my burden. The equal Allah one day has never yet been told. And the path that leads to heaven. And the things I will enjoy. That eyes have never seen. What tears have never heard. What has never yet entered into the hearts of men. The praise, the glory, the goodness of God. The things prepared for the people of God. The heart has never yet been told. 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 Where I was very active. And I was a religious sinner. I knew me songs and we beat drums and we did a lot of things. And we thought we were going okay. But we are the spirit of God. Because as we burnt our candles and burnt our incense. And we called some of the names that we never found in the Bible. And then we were Spin like this as if we are in the athletics, uh, you know, gymnasium. And then after praying fast and fast and fast, and then we will get hold of us and some of us will knock our head down. We said that was the power. That was the power. And then we went out of that place, we continued smoking and drinking and committing adultery and fornication. And if you came to me at that time and you talked about being born again, I will get you and begin to preach to you and tell you about spiritual power and invite, when you invite me to your own gospel church I say wait a minute, you need to come to our place and come and see demonstration of power and I wasn't born again but I was high and I could fast three days on end and I could fast three days on end and for, for months I could I kept regular times of fasting. What are what any na avenue allocate locate? Monday, Wednesday, where Friday, I never missed it at that time. And I was very careful. I I watch what I said to people. And I was very careful. I I watch what I said to people. What are in a mere hand? Kelly, the abundant neck again, Mama Tani. Do you think of a sinner that didn't have a girlfriend? Ah, the sinner means the one the bar she the idea. The sinner that didn't drink means the one the bar the sinner that didn't smoke. One the bar shan't have a mama. I was like that. I had a issue. And I when I woke up in the morning, I felt God will talk to me. In the night, God saw that even though I was wrong, even though I was a sinner, I was a sincere sinner. And then I was invited to a place. And then I had the word of God. April 1964. It was in the evening. About 8 o'clock their message finished. In the evening. And that man was an illiterate. I mean the preacher in that place. He didn't know mathematics that I knew. He had done all the science that I had done. He was not a university fellow. Just a normal child of God. She had an Allah and that man could preach. And that man just preached me into crying. And I'm still crying. When I remember the grace of God. When I remember the peace from which he dug me out. When I remember how they lifted up Jesus Christ and hung him on that tree. I see Jesus crying and weeping at the garden of Gethsemane. When I see the, when I think about the piercing of the side of Jesus, if you know any crying preacher, I am one. I privately, I cry publicly. I guess I will never stop crying. Because you know your tears are good. When you think about Jesus, when you think about Calvary, when you think about the Bible, when you think about God, when you think about the angels, when you think about 
about church do you think about heaven when you think that one day you sinner born in sin you born in sin that Jesus not because of your ties not because of your money he just love you free of charge and he brought you to himself he said lord i'm dirty and you clean said never mind i love you you think about that you will cry what was that you I still cry right now. And you know that night I cry. And then I woke up. I said, Lord, I give myself to you. I didn't know what it meant. And I was saying, it was it quarter after eight, April 5, 1964. I was very young then. I'm not too young now. I love the Lord. The Lord is good. All these years, when I shake to be saved, to be born again. It's wonderful. And it happened when I looked upon the Lord. And if you have not been saved, if you have not been born again, the only way you can be born again without this reality of the grace of God. I hope you have been blessed by this edition of Pastor Kumui's illustrations. Please don't let this illustration die. Pass it on to others and you could be of help to someone somewhere. Till we meet next week again for another edition of Pastor Kumui's Illustrations. Remain blessed.